Hey, this is Ben from WPAnswer.com. In this video, you'll learn how to add featured images to your posts. Imagine I have a new WordPress site set up. And on my site, I have this post I just published. And when I visit my homepage, there's no image associated with it. And I want to display an image on the homepage along with a title because I think that would look nicer. And that's what I saw in the theme preview before I selected this theme. So I would like to have an image included on the homepage. New WordPress users commonly try to solve this problem by editing their post and adding an image in the, into the post content itself. So to do that, using the Gutenberg editor, I'll click enter. I just used the image block recently, so I have it available here. I'll click on the media library button and I'll select the image that I last uploaded to my site. I'll update the post, and when I view it, I can see the image now displaying in my post exactly as planned. But if I go back to my home page, the image is nowhere to be found. As a theme developer, I can tell you that there's no easy way to get this image and output it on the home page because it could be included after the first paragraph, after the second paragraph. There could be a lot of images. There could be an image gallery that shows up before an image. As the developer, I don't know which image you want me to display on the home page. So I'm never going to bother to try and look through this content and extract the right image. And this was an obvious problem in WordPress a very long time ago, many, many years ago. And so a feature that WordPress added right away is called featured images. And a featured image is a way to associate one image with your post so that your theme can easily output it anywhere that post is added. So here's how you can do that. When you visit the post editor, you'll see this featured image option in the sidebar. If you don't see it, you might have selected a paragraph or another block element. You can always click in the sidebar or click on document to return to these settings. If you click on featured image, you can then select this set featured image button and you'll see the familiar media library panel here. You can always switch to the upload files tab to upload a new image from your computer, but I'll reselect that same image I just inserted in my post. Now I'll update my post and I've officially added this as my featured image so it's now associated with my post. If I view my post, I'll see it included above the post title and if I go back to the home page again, now I'll see it displaying above the post title. Where the featured image displays and what it looks like depends on your theme. Right now I'm using the Apex theme, so this is where the featured image is output, but yours might be somewhere else, but it will be um, combined with the rest of the post's content. Now, if I view the post, you'll see the one thing I need to clean up is that now that I have it as a featured image, it displays above the title. And I also have it inserted right away after this first paragraph, which doesn't look great. So if you have been adding images into your post content instead, you can delete them and simply use the featured image option instead and then you'll get the desired look that you want. So just to summarize, every theme uses featured images. If you want an image to be associated with your post, the way to do that is not to include an image in the post content, but rather to add it as a featured image. I hope you learned a lot in this video. If you liked it, please click the like button below. If you'd like more WordPress tutorials, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And if you have any questions, please feel free to post them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.